What's up, everybody? You're watching Love and Noise. We're actually going to be interviewing Flyleaf, so let's see how it goes. This is Love and Noise TV right here from House of Blues Anaheim and we're with one kind of a band, Fly Leaf. Yeah. I see some new faces, so could you guys like explain what's happening there? <laughs> we have a new addition to Flyleaf. It's a, an amazing addition, Kristen May. She's, she's been singing and it's, it's been phenomenal, phenomenal tour. Cool. You want to talk a little bit about it, your experience with Flyleaf now? Yeah. It's been awesome. Um, I was really excited to get on the road with these guys because ever since I met them and rehearsed with them, it just felt really good. So being on the road is even better. Oh, it's out. New Horizons, right? That's right. So how do you guys, um, or what do you guys expect with this new record? Anybody? I don't know, you know, we, we, we try not to have any ex expectations and then let it do its thing, but, you know, whoever hears it, you know, have their own opinion about it. Cool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys tell me a little bit about you guys' faith and uh, your approach uh, from that standpoint to, like, the millions of fans that you guys have, you know? Yeah, um, you know, I, our, our faith is the most important thing in our lives, you know, so it's, it's hard to, when you really believe in something and believe it to be true to separate that from any aspect, any other aspect of your life. So, you know, all of our songs um, come from that perspective um, of hope and redemption and salvation. And uh, that's something that we really hope and pray that the, 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 that would translate to the songs and to the music to whoever's listening to it, whoever's experiencing it, that they would experience that message um, of salvation and redemption and, you know, take it with them. Cool. Right on. Um, you know, I really try to be myself as much as possible. I definitely uh, love Flyleaf and love where they've come from, so I knew what I was getting myself into, you know, as far as their hardcore fans and, and their belief in Jesus and um, that message that it brings to their music. And I have that same faith, so that wasn't difficult for me. But um, as far as these songs, I just listened to them enough until they translated in my life, in my heart, in my soul, and, and they could that could be an outpouring um, for myself. So I don't feel like I'm just singing some of the songs. How do you keep that focus? How do you stay, you know, like, not wander off with something else or something, you know? It's, it's because those, those are the things that that we're striving for and, and, and wanting, you know, there, there, there's this, um, I, I feel like in me anyway, that, that there's like this, this desperate need to want to wanna understand, you know, why why we go through the things that we go through, you know, and what, what is God trying to teach us, you know, and, um, so I, I know hope is real, you know, and it's and it sometimes it seems like it's so far from us though, you know, it's so hard to see sometimes, you know, but but it's there, you know, and if you look really hard, you know, you can, you can see that glimmer of light. It's so cool that you guys are staying together and pretty much bringing out a message of 
I don't know, a challenging message of hope, I would say. Um, I think it's important for people to, to know that they're loved, you know, that that love is real, that hope is real. I think that's e easily forgotten or put to the side or, um, you know, sometimes our priorities are so messed up where we, we you know, there's something that's so far from us and that, I don't know, it, 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 it's, it's a lonely place to be. You know, when, when, you, when, when you don't realize that, that hope and love is real, you know, that, that God is real and that He loves you. So I think that if there's one thing that we as a band hope to, if there's a message that our band hopes to convey is, is that God is real and that He loves you. That's cool, Zach. Thanks a lot. I wish you guys the best and really the message that you're conveying, like you said, I think it gets across and it's, it's amazing that you guys have such a huge uh, follow up of people that like your music and you guys are being so open about you know your beliefs and what's pretty much behind the music What's up guys, we just got done interviewing Flyleaf, it was amazing, make sure you visit our website, loveandnoise.com, and you know, and you keep following us, stay tuned. Oh, <laughs> my